Star in Blanding. Here's your seven day forecast. 72 today, warming to 77 with a few clouds around on Monday. Cool on Tuesday, 66 degrees, and then warming into the 70s by the end of the week. In northern Utah, St. Patrick's Day Parade. Going to be nice today. Temperatures warm there. We'll be in the lower 50s by the end of the parade. Warmer still on Sunday. Oh, yeah. we'll put some rain and mountain snow in. I think it's more okay, Monday evening, but that'll leave us drink. with a cooler air mass settling in on Tuesday and Wednesday, and then warming oh. Thursday and Friday. Good morning. Could yeah. come in handy. It might. Long right. green. Rain could bring a uh, rainbow, though. Yes, I've got to put my controls if anything goes wrong with that truck, you know what I mean? Today, the auto show this week in Switzerland. Fox 13's car guy, Brian Champagne, gives us a look at the latest expensive and economical rides you may or may not see here in the States. Welcome to the Geneva Auto Show. Don't get too excited because there's not much here you can take home. Like the Honda Civic Type R. This is the concept version, but we yanks give the Tamer Civic Si. A toned down fuel cell Honda will be coming to the States, but not our state, in 2015. The Mini 1 has an even smaller engine than most Minis, but makes more power and better economy, claiming 51 miles per gallon, 67 for the diesel. The Clubman concept is almost four inches longer and two inches wider than the one now, which raises the question, when is a Mini not Mini? BMW says the Series 2 Active Tour creates a whole new class of car, a class we may or may not be getting here. And Audi announced the 2015 A3 will be the first car that, keeping up.